Kaz, um, with the Philadelphia Eagles. Um, if you could break down their schedule for us, please. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Um, real quick, just you guys can hear me fine, right? Yeah. Yeah. Great. Perfect. All right. So, um, we're just gonna go through the schedule real quick. Um, starting off with um week one. Um, well, we uh we kick off in Brazil against the Green Bay Packers. Oh shit! Hold on. Let me cut you off over here. But for clip purposes, yeah. we got to make sure we we keep these timely. I, I just want to make sure I threw that out there. Yep. Again. Yep. Yep. I got you, bro. Got so you have to do the whole round. I'm, off I'm gonna go through. Again. Yeah, I'm going to go through. I'm going to go through everything real quick. All right. All, all the weeks real quick. So um, week one, we got the Green Bay Packers in Brazil. Um, week two, we are taking on the Atlanta Falcons. Um, week three, the New Orleans Saints in New Orleans. Week four at Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Week five, the bye week, which is crazy. Um, week six, uh, we have the Browns. Week seven, the New York Giants. Week eight, which is the game I'm planning to go to, the Cincinnati Bengals. Um, week nine, the Jacksonville Jaguars. Week 10, Dallas Cowboys. Week 11, the Commanders. 12, the Los Angeles Rams. 13, the Baltimore Ravens might go to that game as well. Um, 14, Carolina Panthers. 15, Pittsburgh Steelers. 16, Washington Commanders again. And then 17, of course, closing out with the Dallas Cowboys. Or, sorry. And then uh, not closing out, but week 18, closing out with the New York Giants. Dallas Cowboys, New York Giants. Um, so that is our schedule. I mean, Overall thoughts on the schedule, uh, I'm pretty chill with it. Um, I am. I mean, there's a couple, there'll be a couple challenging games. Um, I think that uh, the, the pack opening up with the Packers in Brazil, uh, not nervous about it all, but I think Green Bay is continuing to get better and better every year. Jordan Love is definitely, I mean, he's the man, he got the bag. Um, they put all their faith in him. Uh, I don't expect the, the Packers to show up and just, you know, roll over and die, but I, I think that the Philadelphia Eagles will, will not have a problem handling the Packers. I think we're the better team. I think that we're still better coach. Um, our offense is way too high powered. I'm not going to talk much about that, but the Packers game is one of those games where um, it could be a great game, but I wouldn't be surprised if Philly wins by by at least 10. Um, moving on through the rest of, of the season, though, um, not really concerned about anybody else outside of, I would say, the Bengals. I think that they're going to make a surge this year. Um, they, had a, they had a very down year, obviously, with Joe Burrow being injured. Um, there was talks about T Higgins possibly not being a Bengal. He's still a Bengal. They got rid of Joe Mixon, but they're still going to be following that backfield because Joe Mixon really wasn't a source, a force to be reckoned with in the first place. Um, but I just think that Joe Burrow is going to be going on a tear and it's in Cincinnati. So that is going to be a massive game for the Philadelphia Eagles. And then obviously the Cowboys, I mean, we all know what that's going to be. It's, it's going to be a bloodbath no matter what. Um, hopefully this year is the year that we can sweep them. I think that we can, the Cowboys are currently, in a position to where, what are they doing? You know what I mean? Are they going to sign CD? Is this all for show? Um, you know, they got to sign CD. They got to sign Dak. They got to sign Micah Parsons. The Cowboys are, are the least of my concern right now um, when it comes to the NFC East. Um, but the game that I'm looking forward to the most uh, next year is definitely the Baltimore Ravens week 13. Outside of that, um, not worried about too much when it comes to our schedule. Um, it's, not about dip, it's not a crazy. Well. Who? <laughs> the Command, the, the who? I can't even spell commanders, brother. Listen, <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, but no, um, it, it's mainly it's mainly for me right now. Um, not not trying to be overly confident, but uh, the Bengals. Um, I, I I think they're going to be a problem next year. Um, they they maintain that receiving core, and they have a very angry, confident, and eager to prove more. Um, Marshall Mathers. I mean Joe Burrow. Sorry, uh, Joe Burrow. Um, ready, 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 ready to put in the work. And I'm not a big I'm not a big Joe Burrow, Joe Burrow guy. Um, I think there's another guy that's better than him. And when we get to our quarterback talk later on, you're going to know um, who I mentioned. But uh, Joe Burrow is looking he, – he's going to be a problem. Um, he Browns? Has, that game uh, – our offense – the Browns' defense is great. Um, they're the number one defense in the NFL coming in. Um, but we also have an offense that might be top top two, top three. So I'm, I'm not worried about the Browns. Um, as long as our defense shows up, that, sh- that should be a game that we should win. Um, but no, the Baltimore Ravens, hundred percent, um, Lamar Jackson, MVP, the Ravens are assuming a top tier defense. Um, it is in Baltimore and Baltimore as of right now, if I'm not mistaken, they are favored to win the AFC. I think it's their plus one forty five favors to win over the rest of the division. So, um, yeah, I just, I think the Ravens game in week 13 in the, in the blistering cold in Baltimore, is going to be a massive game. It's going to be a swing game. It's going to be a game that's going to decide where the Eagles finish it, I'm pretty sure that Kevin can agree with me. I think they're going to be in position to to get that number one seed, um, be right there knocking on the door, and the Ravens could be the team that could disrupt that. So that Ravens game is going to be the biggest game. So what is the official win and loss total that you have for the Philadelphia Eagles this upcoming season? 
Yeah, I'm not sure what I said last year. I think I talked to you guys about it, but um, going through the schedule, I'll consult um, the notepad real quick. I might have. It. Yeah, you might. You might have. It. I couldn't remember if I did it myself or if I was with you guys, but um, I, I'll play it. I'll play it a little safe, a little safe, just because we got to find out about this defense. Our offense ain't gonna be a prop at all. You, you hey, <laughs> that hey, that offense. Just move aside. A problem. Move aside. There's. There's nothing you can do about that offense. There's no way. Anytime our offense does not prevail, it'll be a self-inflicted wound. It will not be because of what a defense has has forced us to, to not be able to do. It'll be self-inflicted. We are way too high-powered. I know a lot of you guys have seen the clips of Jalen Hurts back to speed finally, running, having having a blast, you know what I'm saying, throwing the football at, at the torch because, you know what I'm saying, what was it, the whole uh, the Olympic uh, NFL flag football team? I mean, he's – as of right now, he's kind of looked like the face of the, of the NFL, and I'm loving it. Um, a confident Jalen Hurts. We have a top five tight end, potentially top three. We have probably the best receiving core in the NFL once all said and done, and possibly the best offense. A great offensive line, and now we added Saquon Barkley. It's it's not going to be an issue at all. So, honestly, when it comes down to record, I would say just to play it safe because the, the defense right now is unpredictable, um, we can go – 13 four. 13 four. Hmm. Or you're starting is, defensive backs. That is that is playing it very safe. As of right now, they're talking about Keely Ringo getting the uh the, the start over Isaiah Rogers. Talks about it. That was actually today. But it's gonna be Darius Slay. Yes. Probably Isaiah Rogers. Um, we got first off, I mean, you know, got Quentin Mitchell, baby. You know what I'm saying? At that slot. And you know, also, you know, we got you don't think Cody he's too Machine. big to play in the slot? Oh, he'll be he'll be he is matched up against two of the best receivers in the NFL, and they're going rep for rep. Iron sharpens iron. I'm not worried about Quinn Mitchell at all. I want him to, I want him to play on the outside, but you know what? If he can play that slot position um significantly better than Avante Maddox, by all means, do what you got to do. It's a weak area for us right now because we've had health issues in, in our secondary, obviously, especially with Avante Maddox getting hurt. Um, but it's all going to be dependent more so on, on our linebackers and this new Vic Fangio defense. Um, I, we Who knows? They're talking a lot about Noel Smith getting a lot of reps now. You know what I mean? Like, we got Bryce Huff, who's replacing Hassan Reddick. Thank, thank God. Holy crap, man. The Jets are in shambles when it comes to that. But, you know, you got you got Bryce Huff. You still got Josh Sweat, who I think is going to – he's going to come back and play a lot better than he did last season. And still in the middle there, you got Jalen Carter, who's going to be a problem. It depends on these linebackers, man. If these linebackers can show up, I'm not worried about our secondary. We got veteran presence of Darius Slay, who even though he's not the same Darius Slay that he was, you know, three, four, five years ago, it's okay. Um, when you are that skilled at the position, you don't need to be a top tier athlete. You got to be a smart athlete. We play, we've seen plenty of linebackers, sorry, cornerbacks before do what Darius Slay is doing right now. Darius Slay still finished as a top corner in the league last year without really doing much. So I'm, I'm not really worried about the secondary um, at the safety position. Bradbury's moving back there. They got Cooper DeGene. Um, they got also uh, – well, Cooper DeGene will probably play a little bit of slot too, but they're talking about him playing a little bit of safety. Um, obviously, we got, you know, Chalk Doc. We got Reed Blankenship. The, and CJ, obviously, Chauncey Garner-Johnson, of course, the number one. I'm not worried about our safeties. I'm not worried about our cornerbacks. I'm worried about just whether or not this defense will click or not, and that's it. So, I, again, playing it safe, 13-4. and four. On the safer side, but we should finish 14 3. Hmm. Kevin, what do you think? Record wise or just overall? Uh, what do you think of Kaz's analysis? I love it. You know, he's giving respect where respect is due. You know, there's four losses in there, so I'm assuming we're splitting with someone in the division. Um, you know, I was talking to Tati about it. With the Cowboys being in shambles, with the Commanders commandering and the Giants being the Giants, I don't see us losing a divisional game. And I know Toddy says, well, you know, they play as hard and nah, 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 nah. you never know. Well, when's the last time you guys lost to the Commanders? Two years ago. Oh, yeah, but they were the first loss of your 17 and no season. And no, no, no. And, you know, Jaden Daniels and all that cute shit. And yeah, no, that's that's not happening here. So my overall projection is 16 and one. Um, the only games I see us losing are the Bengals and the Ravens. I don't think we lose both, but we lose one. So they go undefeated. In no, sixteen to one. Sixteen to one. No, no, no. Excuse me. Undefeated in the NFC East. Oh, unde- Oh, let me be frank. Undefeated in the NFC. Oh, yeah. I mean, you did name two AFC teams. Pardon me. 
Uh, Toddy, <laughs> any any rebuttals? Um, I mean, I think the Eagles are going to be good this year. Obviously, they got better in the offseason. Clip that, clip that, clip that. Toddy said the Eagles would be good. Um, good, not great. Hey, at least yeah, I mean, they used to be shit. The, team, the teams in the <laughs> NFC should – the Eagles will be one of those teams. They, they're usually always in that upper echelon. Um, I feel like there's a couple of games that you guys kind of, like, look over. Like, I feel like that Packers game can be very tricky. Um, they're only favored by one and a half, two points, uh, according to Vegas and several sports books. Um, that game can go either way, I think. Um, I wouldn't scoff at the Atlanta game week two. Now, I know it is Kirk Cousins, and every time he comes to the link. What day is that game on really, he usually shits down his legs. So, I mean, it's not a game that I'm saying that they're going to lose, but something that they should watch out for. I feel like Atlanta's a solid, going to be a better team this year. Um, the Browns game is another game that I feel like Kaz kind of went over. He's like, oh, yeah, they got a good defense, but, you know, um, they're another team that could be in question of Deshaun. What is Deshaun Watson? We don't know. Nick Chubb's coming back. Um, they have a new receiving core. Um, they still have Stefanski, so – I feel like that's another team that can be um, formidable. And the Commanders. Commanders is another team who I am um, pretty high on this year. Um, I feel like they play them close pretty much every single year. Um, I mean, they had Sam Howell throwing the ball to whoever it was last year. So, I mean, you guys should win those games. So, I think it's always been Jalen Hurts has kind of been, you know, the default best quarterback. Some Cowboy fans might argue back at that. Um, I think the Cowboys play you guys pretty well every time you guys usually play them. So you guys usually go back and forth with Cowboys. Um, to say that you're going to sweep them this year, I'm not sure, even though you guys – they did win the division last year. Um, so it's kind of – so, I mean, there's a couple of games on the schedule that you could look at as wins, but it's like you kind of got to double take it. Um, I can see the Eagles going anywhere from 13-4 and to 12-5 and in that range, so. Yeah, I that, mean they were they were all they were like they went like ten and one in their first like eleven games, and then they just went on a skid the rest of the year. So different team. That's last year. I'm trying to get. I'm trying to be the guy because Kevin keeps saying well, that was last year, and you, you, our team is different now. We got new coordinator. That's what I sound like when we talk. Angio is gonna be the guy. Kellen Moore. That's amazing, your voice. So. Yeah, no, um, Kellen, Kellen not, Moore is going to save us big time. Bro. I'm not I'm not very high on your guys' coach. I don't know if you know that, Cass. I don't think he really does anything. I feel like he's just there to kind of just point at guys and tell them, hey, you got to go over here and do this. And Kellen is really – Kellen and Vic are going to be doing the majority of the work. Um, so, yeah, um, I think the Eagles will be – they'll be a good team. I think they're a playoff team for sure this year. Should win to the division. Should. Should win to the division. Should is the key word there um we shall see if if they ultimately do because apparently the cowboys won the division last year by default uh so uh 